Okay, so we just finished talking about the send to messenger plugin. That's one entry point that you can use on your website to grow your subscriber list. Now, another plugin that you can use to do that, another entry point for your website is the customer chat plugin. And you're looking at it right now on your screen. Basically, this is a persistent chat widget in the bottom right-hand corner of your website that allows users to engage with your chatbot directly on the website. Now, this is in contrast to the send to messenger plugin because with that plugin, People click it to opt in and then they're sent a message in the background on Messenger. With the customer chat plugin, they can engage again directly on the website and have a long form interactive conversation. So that's to differentiate the send a messenger plugin and the customer chat plugin just a little bit. So now that you know what it is and what it looks like, you might be asking, well, how does it actually work? What are kind of the use cases? So for me, I would say the two main use cases are for automating frequently asked questions, no matter what business or vertical you're in, and then also specifically for e-commerce, really product recommendation. What's also really cool about the customer chat plugin along those lines is that you can embed different customer chat plugins on different pages of your website. So for example, let's say you're an ice cream shop, which more on that in a second, and you have a product page on each of those product pages for all your different flavors of ice cream, you could have one customer chat plugin that allows people to take a quiz to get a personalized product recommendation and then buy. And then maybe on another side of your website for let's say wholesalers who wanna resell your ice cream, then you could have a completely different conversational flow there that's relevant to those users, relevant to their intention. So just some fun facts about the customer chat plugin. All that being said though, let's dive into the actual tutorial and show you how to get it set up in 60 seconds or less. So I'm gonna dive in to Flow Builder here in the chat field dashboard. And you can see right here, I've created this basic flow. This is the product quiz for personalized product recommendation that users will take. So to create the customer chat entry point, I'm going to, at the very beginning of the flow, double click, add the customer chat plugin, and then I can connect this to the flow. Now you'll notice here something a little bit different, very different than the send to messenger plugin, which is there is something called guest mode here. This is really exciting because it allows users who even are not signed into Facebook in their browser to engage with your chatbot. So for this first example, continue as Andrew, if the user is signed in, in that case, I'm gonna send them right into this flow and get them going. Now I could also do the same with the guest side if users are not logged in, but I'm not gonna do that because for guests, if they're not signed into Facebook, they won't have this first name user attribute that I'm using throughout the bot. And that could be problematic, right? It'll just show up hi, or in this case, hurry blank. It won't show their name. So if I wanna make that a little bit more personalized and relevant based on if they're logged in or not, I'm going to instead connect this guest segment to another flow that I've created, a duplicate flow, and then we'll take out that attribute. So this is a little bit more technical, but if you do wanna use this plugin properly, it is important that you're not using those personalized attributes, those user attributes for guest users. So I'm going to connect this instead to a redirect to flow block and I'll type in or choose the name of that guest mode flow that I've created. So it's called customer chat guest mode here. And then I'm gonna go into that flow, customer chat guest mode, and remove that user attribute. Because again, those guest users will not have any of that information available. So I'm just gonna zoom in here and we'll just very simply delete that user attribute and we'll say hurry instead, right? So again, very small thing. If you really wanted to, you could still connect both of those segments, the logged in and the logged out to that message, but it's not gonna create the best user experience. So now that I've created these two different message flows here, although they're basically similar, I am going to go back and we'll customize the customer chat plugin settings a bit and then actually embed it on the website. So I'm going to click on the plugin here, the entry point. For the website domain, just like I did with the send to messenger plugin, I'm going to enter in w3schools.com. And again, this is just the testing environment that I'm using. You actually wanna enter your domain. 
For show on pages, if I keep this default setting here, it's going to embed this globally across my website. So if you don't wanna do that, you want to edit this accordingly. For example, if I only wanna embed this on my product pages, since this is the product quiz, if you will, I could type in, you know, product, forward slash, and then the asterisk, although I'm not going to do that only because I'm testing this on W3 schools. The web URL structure is a little bit different, so it's not gonna work as expected. So I'll just leave it as the default here. But again, if you wanna limit access to certain pages and certain URL structures, you would wanna do this. And then I'll just keep the greeting message here, the default, which is, hi, how can we help you? But I could change it to something like, hey, do you wanna take our quiz, provide some sort of incentive? For the custom colors, this is neat. If you want to customize the blue here in the customer chat plugin according to your brand colors, you can do that. You can get very specific with the you know code of that color. I'll just change mine to black for sake of example. And then you have some additional settings down here, like if you want to display this on mobile or not, etc. So now that we have all of that set up, I'm going to click copy code and then we will toggle this switch on to set it live, and then we'll just embed it on our website. So I'm gonna zoom out, replace this previous script that I had as a placeholder, paste that in, click run, and voila, there we go. We can now interact with the chatbot. So you'll probably see some previous conversation here, but I could click continue as myself. I'm logged in, and it would send me that message, take me down that flow. So. That is how to set up the customer chat plugin. Make sure to try it on your website today and grow your subscriber list.